Well, what a year it's been for Nicola McDermott. Records galore, now an Olympic silver medalist as well. She's such a, a happy character. Uh, coming in reasonably early, although uh, we've seen a few jumps already. 189, first time clearance, and that's what you want, and that's what you need. Because uh, on a tricky night with the conditions, wind kind of blowing down into their faces, the high jump and the first bend always here in Lausanne. We've seen some brilliant high jump competitions here over the years. And this is Mahuchik. Well, it's not a first time clearance for her. She did come in at 185, maybe to get a bit of a sight at. Cleared that very nicely, but not at 189. So that's a bit of a setback early on for her. I'm sure she'll clear it, but when it comes to later on, that may well be something she will root. Lazard Skriner, already clear at 185, again came in early. Levchenko similarly, so here's Lazard Skriner next to go. Well, Lazard Skriner then, her turn, 189. Nice and fresh. Only one jump so far. Shouldn't be a problem. Tights on. Nice and relaxed. Yeah, beautiful. Very fluid, very fast. She is uh, not only the Olympic champion, she's three times now the world champion. She's dominated 2015, 2017, 2019. Really came to the fore, I suppose, with her first big world title back in 2014 in Sopot, Poland, where on the... Uh, Polish coast, she shared the gold medal actually with uh, Camila Litrinko, who was jumping in front of the home crowd. Demireva then, here she goes. No, no, the Bulgarian that looked a little bit lackluster. Cleared 185 first time, her opening height, and that's uh, her second failure at 189. She's in a spot of trouble. Only three athletes have gone clear at this height first time. Lasit Skenit, McDermott. And Litwinko, funnily enough, the pole I mentioned just now, who took that share of the gold Sopot seven years ago. Levchenko next to go. Second attempt for the... He needs the other Ukrainian. He's got three great jumpers. With... No, just looking a little bit out of sorts. Had a decent competition um, last week, but... Again, just it looks as if just not getting a run up right there. So early for her to be sitting on uh, a third attempt. For a nice clearance at 189, now a first attempt at 192. Still got the tights on, and uh, no wonder it's getting pretty chilly here. It certainly feels chilly. So the Australian. And form of our life, and that's nice, that's very, very good. Well, she's celebrating 192 as though it was two meters two. Such a happy character, and enjoying every single minute of what's happening to her in 2021. Captured a lot of interest the way she marks herself in a book after every single jump, doesn't matter which competition, whether it's qualifying in the finals, where it is. 10 out of 10 for that. Mahuchik next. No. Well, similarly to 189 when she had two attempts, she's going to have to have the same here with 192. Just coming down on that, she had the height, just needs to make an adjustment. I said it's difficult when the wind's blowing straight at you down the length of the stadium and it's gusting. Not so easy to judge. So Lazard Skeiner then, first attempt. Well, they're, they're kind of uh, just, uh, I'm sure they will go higher and, and clear these heights, Lazard Skeiner and Mahuchik, etc. But these failures uh, will add up. So McDermott, the only one with a clean slate so far at 192. Lazard Skeiner. As ever, she just always looks not necessarily annoyed with herself. The Olympic champion, just a little frustrated, perhaps. So the Trinko then. Second attempt for her at 192. A lot of uh, pro 
crosses on the cards of the top five or six athletes here surprisingly early but maybe the conditions explaining that no not close either little did twinkle just three attempts at 1 meter 85 then popped over 189 first time two failures for her now 192 it's all or nothing next effort I think you're right Tim you know with Demareva's already gone Levchenko has already gone Garashenko had a good competition with Eugene last week this is her second attempt Ukraine with well, as I said, Levchenko, the one who's been just left behind a little bit, because Garashenko has certainly stepped up. Mahuchik, the star of Ukrainian high jumping. There we go. Just a very slight rattle of the bar. Second time for Garashenko. So she actually moves into second place at this point. Still early stages, although it might not need too much to win this tonight. Yeah. Mahuchik in the high jump. Second attempt. Ah, there we go. 195. And this, similar to the pole vault, is very quickly getting narrowed down. But the four main athletes, if you like, still there. That's it, Skena, Mahuchik, McDermott, Garashenko. Mahuchik's second attempt is over. But it is tricky. Really tricky, not to mention a little chilly. So McDermott then. Here she goes. 192 cleared. Here she is at 195. Third time of asking. And that what's almost becoming a traditional celebration for her now. That stamping. Doesn't wear her heart. Uh, keep it to herself does she wears a heart very much on her sleeve and it's great to see wonderful silver medal in uh, Tokyo so much more to come surely from this athlete who is getting in amongst the best of the Eastern Europeans the Lasitskenes and Mahuchiks and the Twinkos Gerashenko ah Lasitskene third time clearance at 195 will be angry at herself there for putting herself in that position but she fights on and these are good heights in these conditions you know i think she set her personal best here in lausanne a few years back and um she, i think we were here on that night and it was a very lazard skinner in the women's high jump Third time clearance at 195, a clutch clearance for the Olympic champion. And now, though, as a chance to grab hold of this competition. A little shaky early on. And there you go. That's what she always has in her pocket. Lazard Skinner has the ability to make the higher heights look easy. And all of a sudden, a first time clearance at 198. And she leads putting the pressure on the others it has been a struggle tonight for everybody but that's as good as we've seen look I want to get my kit on quick as she says well McDermott then third and final attempt for the Australian at 198 oh that was close oh that was very close but it's been a great contest and she's uh, put away some big names with that third time clearance at 195 her best of the night will finish in third place very very close and there are big heights yet to come and she's had a long long season too has nicola mcdermott Comrade bronze medalist back in 2018 but you've got to remember these southern hemisphere athletes have been competing since january february through march the aussie championships in april mahuchik then third attempt can she do it oh springs in her feet well, she's got a completely kind of different style, gets right under the bar, and then what a clearance that was. Just watch this. Couldn't see it from that angle, but there you go, there you can see much better from Mahuchik, and she needed that third time clearance at 198, so she joins last.
Lazitskina looked superb with that clear to 198, but only two women left now. So, first attempt. Sorry, second attempt. No. Actually, you know when she, uh, I, I did just check, 2017 was when she set their personal best here at 2 meters 6. And that was in the middle of that amazing streak where she had 45 wins in a row. I think it was the Rabat Diamond League in 2018 where she finally succumbed to defeat. And then over the last couple of years, of course, uh, there was a period where she couldn't compete due to the restrictions on the Russian athletes. And she, you have to say, she has stood up for Russian athletes against her own federation, been very vociferous. Here is Mahuchek then, third and final attempt for her at 2 a 1. No, no. Has to settle for defeat on this occasion at the hands of the Olympic champion, the three-time world champion. If you're going to lose, then it's uh, losing somebody of that calibre. There's nothing to be ashamed of. She's had a good evening. Third time clearance at 198. Her best. She is still, we have to remember, only 19. She was second at the World Championships back in 2019 in Doha. At the age of 17, behind Lasitskine. Won the European indoor title earlier on uh, this year in March. In Here's Lasitskine, third attempt. Uh, she had the competition won, and uh, you would... Well, you can forgive her for, I think, wanting to get the tracksuit on and get back into the warm. It's been a tricky night in the high jump. But she, that beautiful clearance at 198, good enough to win the competition on countback. Because up until that point, she wasn't leading, but the first time clearance at 198 put her back in the lead. Mahuchik uh, wasn't able to go over first time, and neither of them clear at 2 metres 1. So Lazard Skinner is the winner tonight. Huchik will take second place ahead of Nicola McDermott. But the Olympic champion showing why she is still the best. Mahuchik is getting better. The youngster one day may take over, but Lazitskina is not giving way 